Let me tell you a little story about a man named James Garfield, born in Moreland Hills, Ohio on November 19, 1831. He became the only man ever to be elected president during his term in the House of Representatives. At 18, he began his professional career as a teacher, then school principal, and eventually a lawyer. At 27, he married Lucretia Randolph and together raised seven children. A year later, he was elected as a state senator in Ohio. He went on to the U.S. House of Representatives and served as a major general for the Union Army during the Civil War. In 1880, Garfield was selected to the U.S. Senate, but before his term began, he was elected as the nation's 20th president, meaning for a short time he filled the roles of a sitting representative, senator-elect, and president-elect, all at the same time. He had only four months in office before July 2, 1881, when Charles J. Duteau shot Garfield at a railroad station in Washington, D.C., becoming the second president to be assassinated. Sadly, James Garfield died on September 19, 1881 of blood poisoning at the age of 49, making his presidency the second shortest in American history. And there you go, a little story about a man named James.